In this video, we are going to be learning how to use the number solve on our calculator to double check our algebra. So on an exam, you would be expected to show how you distribute the x's and other variables out and rearrange the equation to solve for x, but it's always good to have a method to double check your answer. And of course, you can always plug whatever x you calculate back into this equation and recalculate to make sure that it is the value you want. But your calculator also has a way of kind of telling you what x is so that you can quickly verify that your algebra is correct. So you can go up here and right above where the sign and inverse sign button is, there's a, it says num solve. And so you can go second num solve. And I've previously used this, so I can clear it out. But if you've never used this before, you'll see um, two squares with an equal sign in between them. And that's where you type out this formula as it appears on your paper. So I can type in 47.892. Then I can scroll over to the other side of the equal sign. And to get my X, I'm going to hit my X, Y, Z button once. If I want to use a different letter, um, don't just use X. It's easier. And then you go 46.891. And then you can type in one minus X. And then that's multiplied by, you don't even need to really write the multiply, or you can do the parentheses. And that is 48.159. Then I hit enter. And the next thing I have to do is I have to guess about what X is, because what this is doing is it's kind of doing a guess and check method above and below to and pin down where that is. And so the closer you guess initially, the less time it takes. So here I know that my X needs to be between um, zero and one because these are going to add up to one. And so I'm going to type in 0 0.8. I think it's a bit closer to this number because what it's equal to is closer to that number. So I think that whatever X is, oh, this is a one minus X. So it's probably less than 0 0.5. I'm going to type in 0 0.2. I'm going to hit enter. And then it's going to calculate what my X is. And so X is equal to 0 0.2105678 blah 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 um so there's my answer and so now i can quit this menu and that x is actually stored as x here in our variables so to do the one minus x i can do one minus and then i can recall that x value and then I hit enter and you can see that it has given me what the one minus X is. I hope that helps you double check your math.